Hey, how's it going? Hey. I've been using the Instant Pot for about three years now, so I've learned a trick or two that helps with um, cooking. So I thought I'd share them with you today. So the first tip I have is I often um, saute before I add food into the pot. So when you click saute, you can adjust the heat to more or less, or you can keep it at normal. Now I like to, uh, I like to sear meat at the hotter temperature, so often I will use saute mode in more, um, oops, cancel, uh, with more so that we can get a harder sear and also because I'm impatient, so I like to get things going quicker. You? Impatient? <laughs> no. I think the biggest uh, surprise for people who buy the Instant Pot is um, when people say that it cooks in four minutes, is really just the cook time, but it also takes time for the pot to come up to pressure that people don't take into consideration. So there's a lot of complaints from people who say, oh, well, I didn't know it was going to take 15 minutes to come to pressure. How is that faster than doing it on the stove? Well, my answer to that is, well, you're, when you're cooking on the stove top, you're also waiting for things to heat up. You're waiting for your pan to heat up. You're waiting for your water to boil. So with the Instant Pot, you're also waiting for it to come up to pressure before it actually starts to cook. But one way to kind of speed things up is if you're preparing food to go into the pot, what I would recommend is if you know that it's not going to take too long, that you can just start the program, let's say uh, manual for 30 minutes, and even without the lid on, it will start. So while that is heating up, you can start to add your food in and then you can put the lid on and uh, the program will have already started. So you, you're kind of saving time there without having to add more time after you've already prepped all your food to go into the pot. You also want to have something in there right away. You don't want to just heat up an empty pot. So if you're using some water or um, like for example, I like to start my oatmeal uh, recipe right away because I know it can only take me like two minutes to get my oatmeal prepared in my, um, in my bowl before I put it in the pot. So I pour water in there, put my trivet in there, and I set my, um, I set my pot on and then I will add my oatmeal, put the lid on, and that saves me a bit of time. Or instead of starting your program, you can also heat it up by just pressing the saute mode, and that will heat up the pot so that will lessen the come up to pressure time. So I love this trivet that comes with the uh, Instant Pot, but what I find is, yep, it's great that it has handles to drop it in, but when the pot is piping hot, trying to get this out with food on top is really hard to do. Like it's, it's not easy. So sometimes I even have like my um, oven mitts on to try to pull it out, but it's still not an easy, an easy lift. So what I do, I folded these little handles with just aluminum uh, foil and I just hook them onto the handle of this trivet. That just gives me a little bit more leverage when I'm trying to pull things out. So for example, I'm going to put this in. These can stay out. I can put a pot in. And then when it's done cooking, I can just take these and pull it out. Ta-da! Now some people like to make a wide foil sling that goes all the way underneath the pot. I don't know, I find balancing that is a little bit harder than just using the handles that you would have used otherwise. And just keeping it level as you're taking it out. That's right. By now you may have heard the acronym PIP, which stands for pot in pot. And that's cooking with a bowl or with another pot within your Instant Pot. Now, why would you do this? I find, for example, when I make oatmeal, I don't want oatmeal cooking in my large pot. Um, 
with the heat source right at the bottom, it can heat up the inside and because you're making oatmeal, it might uh, scorch the bottom of the pot. So I like to make my oatmeal in a pot, in the pot, so pot and pot. And that just keeps things cleaner. And when I make the oatmeal in here, it doesn't stick to um, my bowl either. However, if you're making a very large portion of something, like say rice, like some people like to make their rice in pot and pot um, method, but I find there's not enough rice to feed my family in this little pot. So I do make rice in the Instant Pot, and I do find that it becomes a little bit sticky if you don't take it out right away. Another reason why people would use the Pot and Pot method is to make a side separate from something else that you're cooking. So you can check out my beef and broccoli recipe here. I also make rice in addition to the beef and broccoli sitting, like the rice sitting on top. So yeah, one pot meals. There are basically two ways to release the pressure after you're done cooking. One is the quick release or the natural release. But what I like to do is use sort of a slow, quick release. And those are for times when I know that the pot is really, really full. And if I quick release, there's a chance that it might just spew. And which, it has happened. Which is, no, it's never happened to me before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So it just spews everywhere and it's like so hard to clean everything after. Or another reason why you would use it is if something you know creates a lot of foam, um, in the pot that will also clog up and start to spew. So I'll show you how to slowly quick release. Okay, and my pot has come to pressure and now I'm just going to use the dowel of a wooden spoon, stick it underneath. Woo! Sorry. Or you can use a wooden spoon also to Turn it all the way to quick release, which is way faster. Hope you enjoyed those hacks and tips. If you have some tips and tricks that you would like to share, please mention them below in the comments. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already, and you'll be notified of new videos. And come find me on Facebook and Instagram. So till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful.